All right then, gang. So we have now secured our backend API routes so that only authenticated users can access all of those workout routes, if you like, and that workout data. Now, that's fine, it's all working, but I also wanna kind of implement a bit of security or protection of certain routes on the front end. So for example, I'm logged in at the minute, but if I was to log out, then I don't want logged out users to be able to even see this page. And I don't want these to be present when a user logs out as well. So what ideally I like is that when a user logs out and they're not authenticated, if they try to access this page or if they're on it and they log out, then we redirect them to the login page. And likewise, if they're already logged in and they try to go to the login page or the sign up page, well, that makes no sense. So we'll redirect them back to the home page. So we're gonna implement that now in the React application. So the way we're gonna do this on the front end is actually really simple with React Router. So really what we want to do is conditionally show these different components right here based on the user status. If we have a user, for example, in this case, if they go to this path and the user is logged in, we wanna show the home component. However, if the user is not logged in, then we will redirect them to this component and vice versa for these. So what we need are two things in this component. First of all, we need the navigate component from React Router DOM. Now this is basically used to redirect a user. In the old version of React Router DOM, it was called redirect, but in this newer version, it's called navigate. The second thing we need is the use auth context hook so we can grab the user. So let's also import that right here. So import use auth context from this location. And then inside this app component, we can grab that user by saying const user is equal to use auth context like so. So we have access to this value, which is either null if they're logged out or a value, an object if they are logged in. So we can use that now to conditionally output different things in these element props. So what I'll do inside this one is say, look, do we have a user? And we're gonna use a ternary operator. So when we use a ternary, we evaluate something and then we have two different things that we can return based on this evaluation. The first thing is the thing we return if this is true. So in this case, it would be the home component. Now we have a colon, and then the second thing we return is if this is false. Now in that case, I want to return a navigate component because we're gonna to navigate to a different path. So we set that equal to forward slash login, like so, and that's all we need to do. So now we're navigating to this path right here, this login path instead. So now we need to essentially do the opposite of this down here because we need to check that we don't have a user in these cases. If we have a user up here, we wanna show the homepage. If we have a user down here, we don't wanna show login, we wanna redirect to the homepage. So I'm gonna say, if we don't have a user over here, so not user and then question mark, and if we don't have a user, then we're fine to show the login page. If we do have a user, then I want to navigate to the home page. So just forward slash in that case. Does that make sense? So if not user, then we have the login page, which is fine because if we're not already logged in, then we want to log in. If we do have a user, then we'll just navigate to this page right here, the home page. So the next thing is to do exactly the same down here. So if not user question mark let's spell this correctly and then we want to show the sign up component and then if we do have a user we're going to navigate to the home page again so let me copy that and paste it down here like so and that's pretty much all there is to it so now we're kind of redirecting the user based on their authentication status so if they're logged in they can see the home page and they can't see these pages if they're logged out, then they can see these pages, but they can't see the home page. Hope that makes sense. Now, before we preview this in a browser, there's one thing I wanna do that's been bugging me for the last couple of lessons, and that is to add a little bit of margin left to this button, because right at the minute, it's budged right up to the email address in the header. So I'm gonna give it a margin left of 10 pixels. That's all I wanted to do. And now let's preview this in a browser. All right then, so at the minute we can see that I'm not actually already logged in because we see these links up here and not my email address and the logout button. So let's try going to this page. 
and we can't. It redirects us now to the login page, but we can visit sign up if we want to. Both of these are fine. So now let's try logging in as Mario at netninja.dev and then it's ABC, ABC, one, two, three, enter. Oops, it says incorrect password. I've got that wrong, let me try again. ABC, ABC, one, two, three, exclamation mark. Press enter, okay, yeah. Now we get redirected to the home page, so that's worked. We can see this in the header. Now, if we try to go to forward slash login now, it should redirect us back to the home page. And it does because we protect that route from people who are already logged in. There's no need to go to the login page again. If we want to view that, we can just click on log out. And the same is true for going to forward slash sign up. If we try and visit that, we just get redirected back to this home page. However, when we do log out, it's going to redirect us then back to the login page right here. So that's all working.